On deck, we have exam 80, section 1, question 1. The issue presented, which one of the following is true, most helps to resolve the apparent conflict in the statements above. So we are presented with a paradox issue. Plan, slash marks, and then reflect on what's going what's to help us make sense of this. So we want to pay particular uh, attention to the reasoning. I have a slash mark after word proof, a slash mark after word group, and I'm done. In a recent study of dust mite allergy sufferers, one group slept on mite proof bedding, while a control group slept on bedding that was not mite proof. So the first fact we're given is there's bedding that is mite proof, bedding that is not mite proof, and who's sleeping there? Dust mite allergy sufferers. Next, the group using mite proof bedding had a 69% reduction in the dice mitt allergen in their mattresses, whereas there was no significant reduction in the control group. Okay, so <clears throat> we know that the mattress has a 69% reduction in the allergen. The control group, there's no reduction in the allergen. Okay, so then you'd expect the folks who, who were the uh, sufferers and slept on the mite proof bedding would, would have gotten some advantage. However, we're told, even though bedding is the main source to dust mites, I'm sorry, the main source of exposure to dust mites, no symptoms reduction was reported in either group. So it didn't make any difference. There was a 69% reduction in the allergens in the primary source, and it didn't make any difference. Let's see what we have. A. Dust mite allergen, allergens and bedding, tend to irritate many allergy sufferers' nasal passages more than do the same allergens in other locations such as carpets. But that doesn't help resolve the paradox. The paradox can only be resolved by addressing the mattresses and the fact that there was no reduction uh, in the allergens for the folks who slept on the sick, you know, on the beds that were, that were mite proof. B, when people report their own allergy symptoms, they tend to exaggerate the severity of symptoms. Again, it's not dealing with how, why didn't the mattress help? C, the medical community does not fully understand how dice, uh, dust mite allergens cause allergies. That doesn't help resolve. We don't need to understand the why. We need to understand how come it didn't help in this case. Not what causes it, but why doesn't this relieve it? D, for dust mite allergy sufferers to get relief from their allergies, dust mite allergens must be reduced by 90 to 95%. That's it. I'll read E because we're on deck. But on the exam, no way, no how, D addresses the specific issue raised. E. All the participants in the study were told that one group in the study would be sleeping on mite-proof bedding, which does not resolve the paradox of there was a 69% reduction. Why didn't we see any relief? So the answer is D, Drusus.